you must have seen this part of the video. After the live event, as I open my Twitter account, players are going crazy on that part of the video. Enhance, enhance. Is that Gore? Is he bad? Is that his weapon? Can't really blame them. It's been a while since we last saw Gore Magala. Actually, Gore did appear on the- <clears throat> Is that even a Monster Hunter movie? Hear me out. I'll be sharing some ideas why Gore Magala could possibly come back and how it would benefit both of us, players, and the Monster Hunter team. Let's first get into the perspective of the Mon Han team. It's the end of Monster Hunter World and the Monster Hunter team announced the upcoming expansion Monster Hunter World Iceborne and Nargakuga. After a few months in the development, they've announced some returning monsters and two of them are Tigrix and Barrio. Both monsters share the same body structure as Nargakuga. With that said, by using Narga's body structure, I think it made it easier for the team to bring both monsters back in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Okay cool, what about Gormagala? Is there a monster? monster that has the same body structure as Gore? Apparently there is one, and that monster is in Rise right now. That's right, it's Crimson Glow Valstrax. If you take a good look, Valstrax has the same monster skeleton as Gormagala, which means they are a few steps away in adding the monster model on Sunbreak. Not only that, they are using the RE engine. Monster Hunter Rise runs on that video game engine. It is created by Capcom, so I'm quite sure they'd have some ideas on how to add Gormagala in-game. Back in TGS 2021, we had some behind-the-scenes interview with the director of Monster Hunter Rise, Ichinose. He shared some of the ideas on choosing which monsters to add in Rise. Ichinose mentioned that their main monster theme for Rise is based on Japanese yokai. It was quite interesting to hear that thought process from them. This time, Suzuki is the one in charge for Sunbreak. And as you know, based from all the trailers we have seen so far, it's all about western yokai or folklore. Malzeno as the vampire, Luna Garen as the werewolf, Garangong as the Frankenstein. What about Gormagala? First, I thought Gormagala being a vampire, but that was taken. So I thought, well, Gorg can be... Sorry. <laughs> I got nothing. You might have some ideas for this. We don't know much about the story of Sunbreak just yet, but the Monster Hunter team mentioned that the word Sunbreak is tied down to the story. I'm thinking it has something to do with the day-night cycle, and I'm quite convinced that Gormagala is a good fit for Sunbreak as Gore changes the sky when it enrages. Besides the story of Sunbreak, I think it could also be tied down to their strategy. The new director Suzuki, if I remember correctly after listening to the Third Fleet podcast, Kaijin Hunter mentioned that Suzuki is one one of the game designers for Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Now that he's the director for Sunbreak and it's his first debut, I'm sure there's a big amount of pressure on him to top off the success of Monster Hunter World and Iceborne. He could be on something big. What if he is planning the right time to reveal Gore Magala? I'm thinking Gore might not be on the initial release of Sunbreak because it would take the spotlight of the three lords that just got announced. Also, if they add Gore Magala later on as a monster update, just like Rise, it would keep the Sunbreak trend going after a few months of Sunbreak's release. Alright, what about for us players? Let's say they do plan to add Gore Magala later in the game. From what I've noticed, monsters that get added later on get a lot more challenging, especially Valstrax. Also, you get rewarded with really good weapons and 
armor sets for the late game. Gormagala has that difficulty too. Not only that, there's also a Shigaru and Chaotic Gormagala. We are talking about 3 monsters, 3 kinds of armor sets, and 42 kinds of weapons. Now that's a lot, just for adding Gormagala. But you know, all of this is just wishful thinking. You know what's not wishful thinking? Astalos coming back in Sunbreak. Check out this next video as a cover why Astalos is so special in Sunbreak, especially for fast hitting and stamina draining weapons. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace!